What's up guys, it's your boy BK. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to get the Raised Light Exotic Sword. Now, this is going to be a two-part video. I have not gotten a sword yet because it requires Arms Day and Arms Day is every Wednesday. Uh, so, I have to wait till Wednesday and then Wednesday I'll upload the next part of this video and show you guys the exotic weapon. So, for starters, you do need the sword. And if you don't have the sword, I will be leaving a link in the description. I uploaded a video a couple days ago on how to get the sword. So, uh, just pause this video, check that video out and make sure um, you come back to the video so you can do the second part. So you do want to have a sword and you want to have a sword that's at 280 and above. Um, you have to dismantle or infuse um, high level uh, weapons um, in order to get your sword that high. And once you have your sword at 280, you will get a mission or quest from Lord Shax. Um, I already picked it up, um, but it'll be highlighted and you'll see a sword reforged once it is upgraded. Um, to the highest max damage and once you have that you'll be uh, sent on mini quests uh, The first one you will have to kill I believe 50 enemies uh, with the sword. Um, I went to the exclusion zone on Mars um, It was the most easiest and they have to be majors <laughs> So I suggest you have um, gear that's 240 and above uh, to do this uh, Or you can go other places, but this was the quickest. It took me around like 10-15 minutes um, around that just to kill uh, 50 enemies and that was just pretty quick and then the next part which was uh, sort of a challenge uh, actually if you guys suck in crucible uh, this will be a challenge uh, just in general the sword in crucible is like really difficult to use uh, I'm not even gonna lie but you do need to get 25 kills with the sword in crucible but the good thing is you don't actually have to have any bullets or <laughs> bullets you don't even have to have any ammo or whatever you want to call it for the sword to actually get the kills so I uh, just load up some crucible load in with your sword and uh just run around and try to get as much kills as possible it took me around like an hour maybe a little less maybe around 10 games because it is very difficult running around uh two piecing people with a sword but I actually managed to get it uh killing 25 enemies so again I uh, just load up some crucible uh control is much easiest uh to do it in yeah, because people are all over and some people just be camping. You can just like get easy kills uh, like I was just doing. And again, uh, this part was pretty hard. You have to get a two piece or you can throw some grenades. Uh, that's also the way I was doing it just to get some damage. And um, just get your 25 kills. That guy sucks. And once you have your 25 kills, you will have another quest that pops up. Uh, it's the second part. And you have to take this back to Lord Shax and he'll give you another quest. All right. So, now the next thing you have to do, uh, which is pretty easy, uh, you have to go to the Dreadnought and go to Patrol, and you will just follow uh, exactly where I go uh, in the video. Uh, I can't really explain it, but I did um, include a step-by-step -step exactly where I went um, in this video. I'm, I'm just going to sp uh, speed it up uh, for you guys, but just follow exactly where I go. You're going to go to a place called like the Fonts, I believe. I'm not too sure, but uh, just make it way past it. You just go to the Cabal ship and just run around the whole ship. Just make a lot of lefts. Uh, basically, you're just going to make a lot of lefts. Just keep going left. Everywhere you go, just left. Just keep going. Now, once you get to the fount, uh, you're just going to follow this path that I'm going to, and you're going to see three major enemies. All right, they're going to be three knights uh, with three elemental burns. Uh, what you guys want to do is, <coughs> oh, excuse me, you just, you're going to want to weaken each of these uh, knights to like, you know, to have like a smidge of health. Uh, just weaken them, all three of them. And uh, once you have them all weakened, you're going to want to use your special. And you're gonna you kill all three of them with that one special uh, in order for this door to unlock. So uh, just weaken these guys out. Just don't kill them because you have to kill all three of these guys at the same time. And once you think these guys are weak enough, 
uh, you just want to have your special. I actually kind of had to cut this part of the video because I didn't realize um, I couldn't really do anything with one void bomb. So um, I'm just going to switch over to my lightning and that took him out extremely quick. So I was just really right now trying to run around trying to figure out how I was going to like get all three of them at, with one Nova bomb. But that quite didn't work. Uh, they just wouldn't uh, come together. So my best bet is to use uh, your art class just to do some like Star Wars kind of Jedi type of stuff. Just to shoot them all out. So again, I was just messing around, but I just couldn't figure out how to get them together. So I switched over my class. And again, once they're just weak enough, I'm just going to weaken them just a little more because I don't know. I don't want them to just you know, mess me up. So now once he's weak enough, you just uh, kill all three of these uh, knights with your one special. And once they're down, this door will open. And uh, make sure you guys have any uh, heavy ammo because you will have to fight uh, another major, which he only takes damage from your sword. So make sure you have some heavy ammo or uh, just pop a heavy around, anything. Just you're going to need to have your sword to fight this next guy. Um... And he's pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie, he's pretty tough. I almost I had to switch over to my son singing class so I wouldn't die, but I managed to get him. And once you're in this room, you wanna cloud all these enemies. Uh, I was just trying to get my super fast. And you just wanna cloud all these enemies. And uh, once they're clear, um, you're gonna see another knight just come down with like a glowing, sh uh, glowing shield. Uh, and once he's down here again, just to take out your sword, the only way he's gonna take damage is with your sword. And that will be the the next part of the quest. Well, that will be the final of this quest. Well, not the final. Well, it will be the final part of this uh, part of the quest. So you're going to want to fight this guy, take out your sword, uh, do as much damage, because he does take a lot of damage from me. As you can see, like two hits is just like taking me way out. Um, he also does take damage from uh, the special. I did forget to uh, include that, but you had to take his shield down. Uh, with your sword, that's the only way he's going to take some type of damage. Just take him down. Get this work. 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 Alright, now it's done. Now, once that part is done, you're going to have to go back and speak to Lord Shax. Now, this part is pretty challenging. I'm not going to lie. It took me over like two hours. Uh, just trying to farm uh, for the next part and you're gonna want to farm depending on what kind of sword you have I pick solar I pick the solar sword so uh, my item will be helium filament so um, I believe arc then it just uh, you might have to search it yourself I'm not too sure arc might be on Venus and um, void might be on like Mars, I, I don't even know, truth be told, I'll just like search it up and like leave it in the description or something, but if you are have a solar sword, you will have to go to the moon and you will have to find uh, these helium filings, you have to farm for this now, this is like some old school stuff, so um, if you don't like farming, uh, this is really not the part for you, but you pretty much have to farm um, a whole bunch of helium filaments all over, uh, all over the moon, and the rate drop for this is pretty low. Um, it actually took me like way over an hour just farming. I'm actually left with like over 200 helium filaments uh, just farming for these things. So um, I have a ghost that actually shows me where the helium filaments are. Um, so that helps out a lot, like big time. So you just want to like search around the whole map, uh, just picking up as much helium filaments as possible. You can also do the load uh, glitch where you just like load zones. If you pick up one, load zones and um, come back but it only works for about like three or four but that helps um, a lot as well that's what I was doing and then we'll drop these uh, these uh, legendary little items so you just want to like get ten of those you need ten of those to actually continue on with the quest alright so for the next part you're actually gonna have to get around 200 uh, kills maybe around 150 to 200 kills I'm not too certain but it was a lot of kills that I have to get to actually uh, continue on with the next part. So the Dark Beyond is an actual perfect mission for you to actually get your Solar Void or Arc kills. Um, again, it took me around like maybe like 45 minutes just sitting here, uh, getting my super, uh, doing this back and forth because you have to get to 100% um, with on your card. So 
I'd say around again 100 to 200 kills uh, just it just depends I'm not too certain it's not a high number but I know it took quite a while just to fill up that quota so I'm just gonna speed this part up uh, once again and I'm pretty boring just watching someone just do this for uh, 45 minutes so I just trimmed it down and uh, once I actually got this next part this is actually gonna be this is like part three of five uh, of this quest because you actually have to do uh, one more part after this you have to take it to the uh, the gunsmith and uh, once you take it to the gunsmith you'll actually get another mission so on Wednesday I will be uploading that video uh, every Wednesday is arms day if you guys didn't know uh, so just keep that as a friendly reminder so uh, now I'm almost at my quota for this and uh, once you uh, meet your quota you're gonna get like another little pop-up mission uh, that tells you you have completed this and uh, once you complete it you're gonna take this back to Lord Shacks and uh, from there Lord Shacks will tell you uh, wait for arms day in order to get to the next part of this quest so again uh, Wednesday I will be uploading uh, the last part of this video and I will be showing off the exotic sword uh, on Wednesday so be sure to hit that sub button if you want to see the next parts of these videos and until the next video peace out also be sure to comment rate and like the video uh, just give it a like it will help the video a lot and I do appreciate um, all the feedback that you guys will give me so uh, until the next video peace out